Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Adventures in Arcane Space. Once again, I am your Dungeon Master, All Dragon, and the players are... Hi, I'm David Big Mac Shepherd. <laughs> I'll try and remember my name. Um, I play Braxton Miak, who's a human fighter from an asteroid called Recap Switch. Hi, everyone. I'm Draka Misana, and I play Sola Sabepa, who is half elven cleric mage of Ogma. Hey everyone, I'm James. I play Akark, Human Paladin of Tear from Brawl. Hey, hello everyone, I'm Salem Motor. I play Finalar Mahani, a druid of Obed High from Grayspace. I probably should unmute myself. Uh, hi, I'm Levanly Sana, and Ails and Vile's Mage. <laughs> a bit discombobulated today. Uh, hey there, I'm uh, Sakad. I play the character Lafto Minglet, an elven uh, specialty priest and a thief from realm space. His uh, specialty priest is called a mischief maker. He has fun. Um, his gimmick is coming up with fun titles. His current title is the uh, adventuring and vexatious vanguard of the venerable and vulnerable veteran. There you go. Nice. Nice. Didn't even uh, stumble over it. Very nice. I struggled on Venerable and Vulnerable. Eh. I was like, oh, did I get that the right way around? Eh. It's fine. It's fine. Are you old enough to be called Venerable? No, it's because we're visiting someone who is a veteran and vulnerable. Yeah, the, the uh, Admiral. All right, so for uh, viewers out there, wow. if you want to uh, uh, influence the game, you can with 500 bits, you can get uh, um, the players or myself a reroll. Uh, the current uh, rerolls available: uh, Braxton and Ocker have zero, Finn has two, Laftel has one, Leva has three, Solus is one. I, the dungeon master, have three. And uh, if I sound it, yes, indeed, I am getting sick. Uh, and uh, as a side note. Uh, um, Leva's player is currently in uh, using a different hardware, so that is uh, going to. She's very using a a a, <laughs> a very different uh, system for playing the game, so uh, we will be assisting her as much as possible. Um, we are we are grateful that she was able <laughs> to join join us. She's using an You're abacus. Free to sell them. I'm well, not quite, but almost. I'm using an <laughs> iPhone for. Ah, an for iPhone. audio, and I'm using an iPad for the rest. <laughs> <laughs> so, to play the game, she's using something that has the same dimensions as some Abacus. Oh, no, no, no. Yes. The, the, well, yeah, I guess there are some large Abacuses about that size. But, um, yeah, so uh, we, uh, we will be uh, doing what we can to uh, aid her. Um we left off last time. Uh, the party got through uh, a dream, uh, hoping that that would be the end of it, but it was not. Uh, they got uh, taken to another dream. And they are currently uh, attempting to push back on some uh, goblinoids, uh, orcs, and other uh, others of that type that have uh, taken an ice bridge over a ravine. Um, and uh, they appear to be in uh, another uh, battle during the uh, uh, Unhuman Wars. Oh, right. Still the same wars. Uh, sure. Yeah, I mean, like, given his age, uh, that seems pretty likely. I think you guys would have concluded that. Your characters would have concluded that. And the battle is uh, going uh, fiercely on the bridge. There is a, a single uh, giant crab left and uh, some more foes coming up along the bridge. Uh, as a side Which... note, because of the technical issues, uh, I've had to turn off dynamic lighting. So to remind you guys... We can't see past the barricades. Um, Please don't cheat, is what you're saying. Well, yes, but also, like, you can identify individual targets uh, at 45 feet. Um, beyond that, uh, most of what you can do is, you know, like, you can you can pick out different orcs from each other, different dwarves from each other uh, at uh, 45 feet. Uh, out beyond that, uh, to um, 75 mm -hmm. feet, you're 
the best thing you can do is identify, like, distinguish between types. Like, that's an orc, that's a dwarf, that's an ogre, that kind of thing. Yeah. And this, you can see individual creatures uh, out at, uh, who are just standing around uh, at uh, 150 feet. So those are your limits. Right. You can see movement out to 300 feet, but that's Im immaterial at this point. So we're not totally sure if there might be allies ahead of us. Uh, you're pretty sure. I mean, like, the, the enemies have uh, um, pretty much uh, uh, camped the uh, other side. They may have some uh, prisoners or something like that. Yeah. Uh, that's the best you can do. Uh, you yeah. can see that they have set up uh, pavises that they're firing from behind. Pavises? What's that little barricade of yeah. shields or something? Yeah. It's those movable walls. Yeah. Right. Uh, given the amount of snow that's fallen, uh, they are basically unmovable right now, though. Mm-hmm. Um, and it, given the uh, snowstorm that you're in, um, it's falling heavily, but there isn't wind going along with it. Um, so your movement is uh, reduced by one-third. So if your movement is 12, you're down to 8 uh, mm -hmm. before taking into account movement for uh, uh, attacking purposes and stuff like that. Um, and if you're moving through the snow... Um, to do anything, then mm -hmm. you get a penalty of plus two. If you're already in position and you're not moving at all, uh, then there's no uh, initiative penalty. Yeah. My crampons mitigate out for me, I believe. Yes. Yes, I do. All right. So, uh, we ended the last session uh, on the end of a combat round, so we'll go ahead and... Uh, Start rolling initiative. Decide what you want to do. Uh, if anyone has any questions, uh, do let me know. Uh, there are currently two summoned creatures on the field, one crab and uh, one spirit wolf. Oh, and the crab's on our side, isn't it? Yeah, those are both on your side. Do I remember that Belthiad was rather hurt at this point? Yes. Yeah, he, uh, he took a, a blast from something like a cone of cold that killed most of the elves he was with. So he is in he is it, it, not in great shape. Well, hopefully he realizes what I'm doing. All right. Yeah. I believe you told you guys told him to retreat, so. And do, 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 let me find my stuff. Yes. I clicked on Braxton before. But he is unclicked. How close to the edge can I get with crampons? Um, that I mean, you can get pretty close, but uh, if you're really close and anything right. happens to you, uh, like yeah. it, it's more that that you can go up to the edge and not worry too and much about it. Down. But if something happens to you, like you get hit, you might need to try and <laughs> make a save or something like that. Would that be too close? Uh, no. No. So as long as I'm not on a half square, that looks like a softy edge. Um, as long as you're the the square you're in is not actively touching the edge. Uh... <laughs> uh, I'm just trying to calculate a range. Mm -hmm. So that is the closest square you can go, basically. This one is touching the edge, so. Yeah, it seems. I'm sorry, no, it's, it's been a week. I need to check this range on the thing. Yep, I understand. I understand. I surprisingly fast for the crossbow. <laughs> I plan to keep using the crossbow in case that thing comes back up, the thing that threw out a cut of cold because it seems to be flying. Is this thing an enemy org? Uh, no, that's or a spirit it? wolf. That's, that's a spirit wolf. Yeah. So that thing's the closest enemy. Uh, the thing past the crab is, yes. Yeah. Okay. Don't you dare to try and shoot my crab. Oh, no, I have a question. Uh, yes, Hawker. In this edition, is there ways to like prepare an action for to react if something happens? 
Uh, no, there really isn't. Okay. You basically have to be able to see what you want to do, kind of thing. That's okay. Where you need uh, uh, the... other... Otherwise, I would have prepared to shoot if I saw the blue thing again. Isn't that a specialist in bow or crossbow to get that feat to shoot on sight? Uh, yeah, yeah, there is something uh, related to that. I'd have to go look it up specifically. Uh, it has been a little bit since I... Oh, I can't become a specialist anyway. I... Yeah. All right, I'm going <clears> to <throat> use a granted power and hope it reaches. Okay. Uh, free. I'll have to dexterous so you can climb up a sheer cliff face in snow. <laughs> Worst case scenario. I mean, you you can you absolutely can try. Like like the uh, advantage of the thief climb wall skill is that this is like these walls are are eminently more climbable to you than anyone else in the party. Oh, yeah, as, as long as I don't fall to my utter doom, I might be able right. to like, scramble onto the wall edge or something. Uh, the gonna... the river below uh, appears to be uh, frozen right now, or at least oh, like there's there's that, a frozen. It it would, but you wouldn't plunge into the water kind of thing and be swept away. Is your cunning plan to climb down and uh, cross the river and uh, then climb back up? Uh, no, I mean I'd seen it fly across if that were the case. <laughs> okay, anyone uh, still need to roll initiative? Nope. I'm All just right. going to put myself in a very precarious position in order to do something. Yeah, yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. I believe Never. I rolled. Okay. Uh, Solus, your turn. I'm just moving since uh, I think I'm uh, too distant to cast healing spells on this round. Mm -hmm. so I'm just moving closer to Feltia to heal him in next round. Okay. You could do a healing profession this week, can you? I'm going to be casting a spell next round. Yeah. And I will attack with the Krabby. Krabby McClovey, the third, will attack the last remaining og ogre. Okay. It's and not it called was... Krabby McCrabface. No, it's Krabby McClovey, the third. And it was 2d20. Yeah. And it attacks with ah, both of its it uh, claws. Alright. Uh, that is going to be a hit. One hit. Mm -hmm. So 2d4. <clears throat> well, that's a decent damage. Alright. Uh, it snaps out at the uh, ogre and... Uh, grabs it with a claw, and um, the dwarves are close enough to hear a, a sickening crunch sound uh, as it uh, falls over a limp. Ah, crabby is a good, good, good little crab. Braxen, your turn. Okay, first thing to do is unmute myself. <laughs> that helps. <laughs> um, I'm wondering if I can squeeze past the dwarves without knocking them over the bridge. Uh, it looks it. like they're going to be oh, advancing somebody's up. somebody's killed the person I was going to go for. Yeah, the the crab. No. Uh, you can squeeze past. Um, it looks okay. like they're they're uh, breaking formation to go around the crab or get up next to it or something like that. So, Can I get anywhere near these guys without sliding? Uh... You can. You no. can't get up to them and still attack. No. Right. Okay. I'll come to. I'll come to here then. Okay. I should have. I should have declared that I'd be doing a. a what you call it? Defense. I can't remember if this is. Uh, well, actually, next time I'll get two attacks when I. So I can't remember if it was this time or next time I get two attacks. Uh, if you skip around a combat, it goes back to one. 
Oh, hang on. It's a sword, isn't it? Oh, yeah, the sword. Yeah, you... you sword. Yeah. So, yeah. If they move forwards, I'll get an atta a second attack. Okay, you'd actually be uh, one square further back. Would I? Yeah. Okay, hang on. Oh, actually, on no, since you're not attacking, you're, you you can be, choose where you want to be. Never mind. Sorry. My bad. No, I can... Well, if that gives me a second attack... It doesn't. That might... No, it doesn't. It doesn't? No. It doesn't? No. Okay. Because you're not attacking this round. All right. I thought I could go somewhere and attack something if if it came near to me. Mm. <laughs> I've done an Ocker. <laughs> All right. Ocker, your turn. I don't see the blue bastard anywhere, so uh, I'll see one of these tall, gangly-looking guys. Okie dokie. With plus two bolt. Okay. So... My normal sack with this weapon is 10. That is a hit. Okay, and it's large, so... Okay. Um, bolt flies out of your uh, crossbow, and you do see that... Uh, that figure, uh, like, wheel back as it... Uh, um, uh, slices through its shoulder for 10 points of damage. I really hope either A, I can find these again, or, or B, these don't get expended because we're in a dream. Uh, that's going to be uh, something that you'll have to wait and find out. Alright, the, uh, the dwarves are going to advance up next to you, Braxen, to take a... Def oh, no, that's, uh, that's a dead one. That one. I don't mind dead dwarves coming up to defend me. Uh -huh. Wow, yeah, you, you're okay yeah, with undead uh, is not the good. You're you're okay with uh with undead. Wow. <laughs> okay. Uh, the two elves here uh are going to be pulling back for cover. Let's get back that far and uh, fire some arrows at the. Uh... So can Braxton see those two walls now? You said they're stuck to the floor. Uh, so... yeah. There, I mean, there's so much snow that they can't move. They can't be moved. What about if Braxton was to use his uh, stick to bash them? Um, I might try that. <laughs> We'll find out. We'll find out when I try it, yeah. <laughs> All right, both of the uh, elves miss, and the other elves are going to be making... Uh, they're going to be firing generally at the pavises. There's a chance that they might hit something. Let's see. <laughs> How far can I see? Sorry again. I just realized. Um, so you can... Uh, Identify individuals at 45 feet. Um, at 75 feet, you can uh, differentiate between types of creatures, and you can see that a creature is there at 150 feet. No, that's fine. If I, I know they're presumed to be hostile to me at that range, so I'm just targeting an area. Basically, Laftali, you can uh, see me just about uh, that. Uh, that is me in the, here. All right, you hear some orcish screams from uh, back behind uh, the pavises as some uh, elvish arrows find their marks. Laftal, your turn. All right, Laftal's going to be incredibly stupid and go right to the edge. <laughs> <laughs> like, as close as he can, because he needs to get as much range as I can. This okay. puts me right on the edge. So I am casting Chaos. I'm casting it as far as I can reach, as 135. So I'm just casting it, hoping it goes somewhere in that vague direction. Okay. This is when you cast it, and a bit of chaos hits you as you tumble over the edge right after casting. Yeah, so they're in a 20 foot cube. You seen the marker? Yep, 20 foot cube. And we'll just double check. I'm pretty sure it's 20 foot cube. Was there it's so weird having a for me to have a wizard. Yeah, so. 
wonder if I have a uh, good 20 foot. Oh, 40 foot cube. 40, 40 foot, foot cube. Oh, oh, okay. Well, conveniently enough. And it is a how many targets? So it's one of level. All right. It's one per level. Uh, one d four creatures plus one a level. Okay, roll one d four. Yay! Well, it's not going to make that much difference, don't think. <laughs> All right, so um. That's what, 13? Uh, yeah. And what gets saved? Uh, fighters. Wizards specialized in enchantments. Monster those that use no magic and have an intelligence of four or less. Creatures of uh, 21 intelligence or higher and creatures with more hit dice than the caster. So, uh, I guess monsters that have that use no magic can afford no, I unless they're fighters. Um, might be. I will copy and paste. It no, 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 I got it. I got it. All right, uh, yeah. let's see. Obviously, I don't know what class is there. <laughs> I mean, generally, monsters are monsters. Do they? Would they? Would certain things be classed as fighters? Uh, no. Um, like warrior humanoid uh, monsters uh, are not classed as fighters. They're just creatures that can fight. Um, all right. So that is uh, going to be. Let me get my effects up and. Yeah, I am relying on Maftal's uh, grace <laughs> with his agility and his crampons that he can hold himself to not fall down to his okay. doom. Alright, so 13, right? Uh, yeah. And he had 135 feet, so... Uh, I don't know if that was quite centered. And it was... I'm, like, right. right at the edge. Then right there. Yeah. Okay. All right. Don't know if I can get like there. Is that more? I wouldn't know at that distance. Yeah, anyway. you can't really tell. I, I think the, I think your your first spot is uh, good. All right. So that uh, is going to be that. Nothing gets a saving throw. Again, I wish that I could just select multiple targets and change their things. Go. And I will take that away. Okay. Uh, let me go ahead and uh, roll some dice to see what they're doing. Alright, that is. I don't imagine creatures, even if they are. Confused or chaos, they would fall to their doom. I'm wondering. Um, no, they would not like wander away uh, off the cliff, kind of thing. That is not what would happen. But they might do something that causes them to slip. They yeah, definitely might sorry. do something that causes them so them to slip. Yeah. It's not like they will intentionally kill them themselves, but uh, accidents can happen. I'm doing this so that I remember what... Uh... Let's see if I actually remember what these uh, colors mean. Meaningful? 
Hmm? Is there meaning for them? Uh, for me, there is. Facts. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Uh, Leva, it... your turn. Okay. Um, Leva will cast fly. She okay. Go flying. On herself. Wild set. Wild set. Wild set. <laughs> All the corpses start floating. <laughs> um, she targeted delay. herself, so if there is a uh, um, if there was a wild surge, it probably wouldn't affect all the corpses. Mm -hmm. um, she doesn't care about flight. So you do not feel yourself uh, lifting up in the air, and <laughs> uh, wild surge. Instead, yeah, yeah, thanks, thanks, Laftel. Even even again, though I rolled it, it first, still still blame Laftel. Yep, 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 definitely. Always and um, above your head, like a a handful oh. of uh, um, like about a foot or so, a small black cloud forms, and it begun begins to torrentially rain on you. Oh, so I was going to get hypothermia really quick. <laughs> In a snowstorm. Mm -hmm. Haven't had a shower for a long time, so that's okay. Does it interface <laughs> with the iron stones? Uh, it does not, but um, you're pretty quickly getting soaked in below freezing weather. I can see it, yes, okay. <laughs> 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 okay. <laughs> you should write that uh, spell down, Leva. That clearly is good spell for uh, personal hygiene. You know what's funny? I've got like endure heat and light resist acid and corrosion, but nothing for cold. <laughs> Leva is thinking of a nice spell for laughter, like I thought, uh, I thought you did create it. Create, oh. uh, create frogs in bed and stuff like that. <laughs> so, uh, that thought, sounds uh, like good. <laughs> I thought you did have cold resistance built from the time when we were on the cold side of the planet. Yeah, I just didn't memorize them today. Uh, <laughs> I didn't know I was going to be in a snowstorm. I don't think anybody could have imagined this. That's the fun thing about uh, doing something like this. All right. All right, so Veltiad is going to uh, target one of the trolls. Uh, he's taking a penalty. Uh, but that is good enough to hit. So he is uh, firing at the uh, one on the end because uh, it seemed a little bit easier to hit. And that is going to be 11 points of damage. All right. Uh, let's see. The uh, orcs are going to start uh, firing arrows back at the elves. But first, um, let's see. I, I've already forgotten what uh, what things <laughs> were, but I, I put the uh, the notes on there for uh, so that I can I can look it up. All right. Uh, let's see. All right. One orc is uh, going to smack his friend with a bow and misses. Um, nice. and let's see, another one is going to begin wandering away, but he gets attacked by another friend, and that is a miss, so he is skedaddling away into... Just lost to the snowstorm. Yep, lost to the snowstorm. And okay, all right. So, uh, <laughs> I just realized something. Mm. <laughs> we'll see if you realize it as well when I try it. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's 
see. Orcs are firing at uh, the elves on the far side, and they all miss. <clears throat> okay. All of them are gone, so I can remove them from the list. And... Uh, then the uh, trolls come up and start attacking the uh, dwarves and uh, you, uh, Braxen. Oh, Joy. I got uh, a one in four chance of not being attacked. Uh, a little bit, a little bit uh, different chances because trolls can split up their attacks. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, so Levin, no, you're not. An invisible black lightning cloud. There is just a small black rain cloud above your invisible form. And actually, that is a good thing to uh, note. Chaos. So trolls heal, don't they? But Ooh, how high trouble. is how high is this bridge? It's a it's like a good sixty feet high. Okay. So if we lob the trolls off the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> they won't be coming back for a while. Maybe not. Oh, uh, well, they'd have to get up. You, though. Yeah, yeah, I know. Goodness. Wow. All right. Troll one is going to uh, claw and bite at a dwarf. Uh, that's bad for that dwarf. I'm not even going to roll... Uh, damage because that dwarf is dead. And then he's going to claw at the next dwarf. This is not good. Uh, that is a miss. And the uh, far one uh, is going to claw and bite at uh, the dwarf next to you, Braxen. Uh -huh. That is one hit. Hey, he's still alive. Do these guys have missile weapons? What, the, uh... The dwarves. The dwarves? Um... They... Not out. They, they, were, they were moving up with battle axes. Okay. Fair enough. I guess they're dying then. Okay. <laughs> and then, let's see... Uh, one claw coming your way, Braxen. That is going to be a hit. For seven points of damage, Braxen. And then a claw and bite on the dwarf next to you. That is going to be a hit with a claw, seven points of damage, and that dwarf uh, to your left goes down, and then another claw coming your way, Braxen, uh, but he misses. Okay. I've just realized that fighting a troll is infinite healing. <laughs> Not necessarily. <laughs> it, it depends you... a lot on uh, circumstances. Well, you kill them, they come back again. <laughs> it also depends what damage type you use. Yeah. And the other troll that's still back in the uh, uh, enemy ranks turns on his friends. That is going to Luck be... Uh, yeah, luckily, uh, luckily Brax is using a flaming sword. Which wasn't me thinking sensibly. That was just me wanting to do more attacks. But I guess it's handy. You got the info on the flaming sword effect for you, Carrot. Well, they're they're trolls, aren't they? Yeah, but do you know how much extra damage your flame tongue sword does? It doesn't. It's just a, it's not a flame tongue. It's just a plus one sword that's yeah. flaming. I mean, it's still it's... useful. It it counts as entirely f fire damage in terms of uh, hitting yeah. things. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it just means they won't heal. You got yeah. a flame tongue weapon, Arca, with you. What? You got a flame tongue axe. Did you bring it with you? No, I did not. Oh. <laughs> I was I, I was told to, uh, 
I was told two weapons, right? Yep. I yep. took the crossbow and my long sword. Yep. Reasonable choices. Yeah. All right, Finn, your turn. Yeah. Okay, I'm casting Cure Serious on Belfiad. Okay. Is he willing? Yeah, and he's not in melee, so there's no attack roll. All right, 13. It's pretty good for a cure serious, actually. Yeah, that actually uh, is going to get him uh, in really good shape. And then your wolf. Uh, so my wolf can fly, right? Uh, yes. And it's going to come down over here. To not only attack this troll, but maybe bait him into attacking and slipping off the edge. Okay. Well, that's good. Attack goes 15. That is a hit. Okay. Alright. <clears throat> Five points of damage. Okay, and uh, let's see. This guy is going to wander away. There we go. And the other one is going to attack the uh, troll. And that is a miss. Uh, and then the other ones are going to uh, come up and try to uh, fight the troll here as well. Since a troll has turned on their own uh, kind, uh, but they are not able to injure that troll. All right. Let's see. Um, anyone getting second attacks? Don't think so. No, you said I wouldn't get a second attack because I didn't have the first attack. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Initiative time. <laughs> I was kind of hoping I would, but never mind. Nope. Plus two if I'm going to move an attack? Yes. Oh, well, luckily for me... Praxen can't move. Does I mean, can. still look injured? I'm sorry? Does Wealthier still look injured? V not very much. Okay. That that really... Uh, um, uh, his, his <clears throat> he was hit by a blast of uh, frigid cold. Uh, so he is uh, definitely looking a lot better now. Uh, let's see. That is going to be... I can't cast a spell and move away from the edge, can I? <laughs> Just, like, no. Oh. Alright. Uh, no, it's on myself. Uh, hey, you wanted to be live on the edge. <laughs> oh, no, right? Uh, uh, I will cast a spell. Oh, that's the point. What's the range of the smell? Ugh. <laughs> I like the sound of that. 20 yards. <laughs> uh, 60 feet. Oh, yeah. 60 new feet. Initiative. Yep, new initiative. <laughs> well, it might be cast on someone, depending on whether or not I beat them in an initiative. I will cast Battle Fan on someone. All right. Maybe well, on myself. <laughs> well, surely you cast it on, on them anyway. Oh, you've got to touch them, have you? No, I just got to be within 20 uh, yards, and, which is 60 feet. He, uh, he, what he, he, well, <clears throat> he's hoping that it gives him a bonus before uh, 
Hell did I not do more combat kind of thing? Yeah. Well, you're going well before me at least. And your only other target for your position is Solus. Uh huh. And I need to you. roll for the chaos effects. <laughs> Can we? I, mean, uh, I can't see Lever. Lever. She's a... Lever. <laughs> She's invisible. Well, she has a storm cloud. You can see where she is, actually. <clears throat> Thanks to the storm cloud and the rain. Oh, she's <laughs> yep. got like a fairy fire kind of like. Is it like a l uh, silhouettes appearing? Is it like those old nineteen twenties Invisible Man movies where you could always see the Invisible Man when it was raining? As an outline? Not exactly, because there's <laughs> nothing that says that that happens. But you you are familiar enough that with magic to know that something just appeared above someone. Yeah. And you can have a very good guess at that uh, who that someone is. Yeah, we need to get we need to get level one of those little hats with an umbrella on top. <laughs> <laughs> I changed my mind just a moment. I need to change for the <laughs> Okay, that was nine. I rolled nine and plus one. Yes, that's better. All right. <clears throat> Anyone still need to roll initiative? I'm good. Okay. I'm good. Laftily, you are up first. I guess I'm casting Battlefit on Arca as I flip a co Electrum coin up in the snowstorm. Okay. So you want me to roll d6? Yeah. And it lasts uh, 18 rounds. Hey, you're going to get that Electrum coin back. <laughs> Yeah, I might have to be keeping mental note if it does actually disappear or not. Well, it'll disappear, but when we move to another dream, you'll get it back again. You uh, should do your really... Accuracy enhanced. There you go. So, plus uh, two. Plus three. Plus three. Plus three to hit. It'll be plus four next level. Okay. Uh, Braxton, your turn. Okay. All right, uh, Brax is going to have a go at the guy in the middle. Um, I should have done my damage first. D20 plus. Plus, 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 plus. Two. Oh. Okay. Thaco is 11. That is a hit. Oh, that's good. Uh, are, are they large? Yes, they are. Yeah. Anything, anything that has a, a token larger than you okay. is going to be is automatically going to be large. Okay. So I do D twelve. I don't do D twelve plus forty four. Naughty keyboard. No, no, you don't. Nine points of damage. That's on the middle one. Yep. Sorry. Uh, so you did, Finn. The good news is that it's the same number, so I'll just uh, delete the wolf spirit from the uh, list. I should have gone for the one in front of the dwarf. Might help the dwarf stay alive longer. Okay. Oh, well, never mind. And, uh, do I get back... You get uh, back four. I get back four. Right. I wasn't quite sure with the fire, whether the fire would... So, uh, your your flaming sword cut into its flesh, uh, immediately burning the, uh, the flesh around it. It screamed in... Uh, uh, fear and anger, and uh, you think it hates you now. <laughs> um, that's fine and in fact the uh, the one standing next to it facing the dwarf is like oh oh get him cause uh, the two dwar the two trolls in front of you they're going after you <laughs> first one 
That is going to be one hit. Uh, he manages to... He's clawing at you, and you're fending off his uh, his hands, but uh, his uh, wiry body um, he just easily gets around uh, your guard and bites you for... 11 points of damage. Wow. And then the other one attacks you. Hungry troll. Very hungry troll. Uh, he manages to claw you <laughs> for this, seven this, points of damage. This this could be bad. Minus seven. I mean, look on the bright side. Uh, you do uh, regenerate yourself when you hit. Yeah. 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 You re remember you, you talking about uh, it uh, being being infinite? Yeah. Also, look on the bright side. You saved the, the dwarf, most likely. I did, yeah. Yeah, because I made them hate me more than the dwarf. And the troll is going after the spirit wolf. The other, the third one. You got your belt of dwarven kind on. That dwarf was really like you. He probably does, yeah. All right. That is going to be a claw and a bite. And it does manage to uh, injure your uh, your spirit wolf. At least I get a second attack. I can see if I can make the middle guy hate me even more. So, uh, Finn, uh, your spirit wolf, yeah, uh, gets torn into by the troll, and you see it actually reacting to those hits. Um, and it takes 20 points of damage. Well, it's gone then. Ow. Oh, your stuns then, if it's gone. Uh, I think I get to... I can't roll I might a save. save against that. Yeah, save versus spell be stunned for 1d4 rounds. Okay. Do, 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 do. I'm going to use a reroll here. Okay. Being stunned right next to a precarious edge. Um, does fun. my wisdom bonus apply to this one? Uh, I don't believe so. It doesn't say that. So first one failed, but the second one is a success. Nice. Hey, with a twenty. All right. Um, there's there's a mental backlash as your spirit wolf uh, howls and vanishes um, under that onslaught. It's just like it, its spirit form is literally torn apart by the uh, the troll. Um, and you reel for a second, but manage to uh, shake it off. Uh, were you trying to cast a spell, or were you moving? I was moving and attacking with bow. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, let's see. Another uh, orc decides to uh, casually wander off and uh, skedaddle into nothingness. Oh, right. Actually, the... Uh, um... Oh, no, no. The, the uh, troll under the chaos spell is just... Uh... Uh, standing very confused in front of it. Uh, the orcs are firing on uh, the elves. And you do hear an, uh, two elves uh, cry out in pain as they go down. Does right. it sound like it's dead, dead? Uh, you wouldn't know until... You wouldn't be able to check until after the fight, really. Or unless you wanted to run over there, but... To be a little callous, you also know that this is a dream. Oh, yeah. I mean, he's also chaos and neutral, so he doesn't care too much. I mean, they are elves, but... He's not exactly a good person. Alright. Elves fire back, and a... Uh... You hear a couple uh, screams of pain from the uh, orcs.
There we go. Alright, the uh, one lone remaining dwarf swings his axe at a troll's leg. Uh, and that is a miss. Alright, Finn, your turn. Alright, moving up to here and sending a fire arrow at the one that just killed my spirit wolf. Ooh, nice. Alright. Uh, let's see, that's a plus two bonus. Uh, any minuses to attack? No. Ah, oh, so close. Sat on that 18 for a second. I know. Uh, the uh, fire arrow uh, streaks through the air, but uh, goes over the uh, troll's shoulder. Solus, your turn. I'm casting Cure Light Wounds on Velthyr. Okay. Just to make sure that he lives. Okay. He will be at max hit points there. Yeah, I thought so. Alright, Velthiad is going to uh, attack with his arrow. Uh, he's actually going to... Uh, uh, and I'll wait until next round. Uh, but he misses. Ocker, your turn. Okay. Uh, still don't see blue fly guy any anywhere, so... Uh... I'll shoot the same guys before with my crossbow. Oh yeah, crab. Yep. Uh, we'll let let Ocker finish his uh, attack first, then we'll go back to the crab. All right. So you're shooting the troll with a uh, crossbow. I think I was ten with this weapon. All right, that's a hit. You're going for the one on the end, right? Uh, same as before. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, that arrow sinks into the. Uh, Troll and uh, he uh, collapses down on the ground. We All need right. fire defenses off, right? Uh, so far as you know. All right, crab. Okay. Awesome. Uh, Solus crab. Yeah, the crabby McClaw, the third, will move here and attack this one. Okay. So did you call me? Yeah, Brexit, do you have you have your flaming sword, right? Yes. Okay, Correct. good. Alright. Uh go ahead and that's just I'm just gonna well, now given that you're on the edge, that one is going to uh no. be cool. <laughs> uh give me a saving throw versus uh Let's go with the uh, um, breath weapon. Okay, uh, I'm gonna give it a bonus because it's got it's it's got six legs, doesn't it? Yeah, it's got six legs on the ground. Um, They're also like pierce, piercing things like crampons, they stick into the ground, don't they? Where is that? I don't know what crab feet look like. <laughs> <laughs> Crap! Oh, please don't okay. give me something dodgy. That's not great. Um, all right, but it did hit with the second one, so go ahead and uh, roll damage as it uh, slips and falls off the cliff. No. no. Yeah, they just got like points. All right. Krabby McCloy the third. You were a good boy. Okay, so um. The uh, the mixture of uh, blood and uh, blood-soaked and, uh... snow and ice, um, it does slip and fall off. It does uh, uh, nick the uh, troll as it can, goes over. Can can Braxton pay a critical hit to stop the crab falling off? Sure. <laughs> it won't it won't be an actual critical hit, but it will keep him from falling off the. Uh... Yeah. The cliff. I see Braxton's uh, clawing on to the situation. 
Wow, normally that would have been Braxton. Uh, <laughs> I, no, I felt inspired because <laughs> it was Braxton. <laughs> okay, it almost slips and falls off the cliff. Does it get the second hit? No. Because you're, you're saving you're saving a, a summoned minion from uh, falling to its doom. Uh, that's it, it's not going to translate into a critical hit. Uh, Leva, your turn. Yes. What's the m well? Leva is casting Dimension Door, and uh, what's the maximum she could get to? Uh, let's let me take a look at that spell. Thirty yards. Thirty yards. Uh, so that is going to be ninety feet. Yes, but uh, you said we are limited in how what we can actually see and how far we can see. Yeah, you can see ninety feet. You just can't uh, um, like pick out um, uh, at ninety feet. You can't you can't pick out what what creatures are uh, kind of thing. You can see that there, that there's a creature there, but you can't pick out what it is. You got a lot further than that. That's so funny. she's gonna take. It's 30 yards a level. What? Oh, if it's 30 yards a level, then yeah, you can get basically anywhere on this map. I mean, it's your level variation. Yeah, but still, I mean, even with that, like... Yeah. It... I was like, 30 yards, that spells yeah, but I, I'm nowhere. Because we're, we weren't supposed to see everything, that's why I'm asking. So would she, see, would she actually see that there's a crab, that there's this oversized creature that just moved? Uh, so, Right, but so... um. Like, you can dimension door beyond what you can see. Um, it's just that you risk getting yeah, into a situation, a bad situation kind of thing. Um, so are you are you looking to go down towards the... Let me... uh, the, the Down the uh, let me... bridge? Yes, let me, let me show you where I'd like to go. I, I, I point uh, an arrow towards there. Okay. Can I... Here. Uh yes. Yeah, you can you can go there. Because that's where she would like to go. Okay. Does the clouds teleport? In preparation for next for next round. In preparation for the next round. So that what what do they see? They say, well is there a level variation first? <laughs> uh there is and it was uh very high level, so no no uh um no wild surge. Uh the cloud does appear with you. It, it does. It does dimension door with you. Um, <laughs> Even That's with perfectly the... fine. Leva goes. Hey, is she never going to pull out? She looks around to Laffel and and, and and shows him this one single finger. <laughs> no one see it. sees. <laughs> no one sees it. Uh, That's okay. Nervous. That's okay. It wasn't polite. It wasn't polite at all. So it's okay. Is never seen it. I'm sorry, what was that level? Hold, hold on, what was that level? Sorry. Now she prepares for the next spell. Okay. Uh, Braxton, you what didn't were you saying? Give a... Braxton? Uh, yeah, is Leva's cloud the size of Leva, or is it actually bigger than her? Uh, I mean, it's bigger than her. Yeah. It's it's large enough to uh, to rain on her. Yeah, what I mean is if she stands next to Braxton, it's going to rain on Braxton. Yeah. Right now, she's just standing yes. uh, in the uh, on the center of the bridge, uh, surrounded by dead bodies. Yeah. Is this an icy bridge or a snow-covered bridge? It's a snow-covered icy bridge. I was wondering, is the rain making it slick and slippery? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Rain might... So is the blood, rain though, so, you know. Yeah. Um, it's more viscous, though. Leva, give me a uh, saving throw versus uh, um, poison paralyzation death magic. That was not my attention, Leva. I was just saying, I was, I was trying to get this. No, no, no. This is this is different. This is different. I know what it's you're really thinking. This is different. Left you can just roll a d20 and and see what you get. See what you get. Oh, oh dear. Um, all right, so... Uh, she slides you... down the bridge. Bye-bye. Nope, nope. Uh, nope. You the, uh, your, your robe is soaked through. 
and uh, being away from the now the relative uh, relative warmth of the uh, the elves and the uh, the stones. Uh, there isn't like a, you know, wind really isn't blowing, but there's a little bit more of a breeze because you're on top of a, a, a narrow bridge above a ravine. It's just so, so, so much paralyzed. less. <laughs> no, crazy. no, no but, uh, farming. you do take, uh, two points of damage, uh, and your teeth are now chattering too much to cast a spell next round. You might want to recreate. Okay. She's got the ice no. and bone shards. So I don't know why Braxton, fine. you were there. You're, you should be right there. Braxton wanted to get wet. What do you say? Two, 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 two points? Two points of damage, yes. I, I didn't move. Uh, I saw you move. I mean, I, I, I mean, I, I saw your, your token was up by Leva. Mm -hmm. I don't well, know that why, wasn't but... me. Okay, I don't know. Maybe I accidentally uh, uh, clicked on and dragged your token. Oh, I was trying to scroll in the... Um... In the text thing to get get my next roll up. Oh, if you um, got a character thing, you was that you move around. Yeah, I hit I hit the down arrow. Maybe that moved me. Yeah, you do. Yeah, that does move you. Arrow keys oh, okay. move you. Sorry, that's good. Sorry, that that's was me. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, Knolls are attacking the. Uh, Troll that is currently standing confused. That is going to be a one hit. Alright. So you can definitely see that there appears to be some infighting down at the uh, far end of the bridge. Uh, let's see. Okay, Braxton, you get a second attack. Yay! Fifteen. That might be a hit. That is indeed a hit. Oh! Ten, Ten points of damage, damage on the on the middle guy that I hit before. All right. And do I get five back? Is it gonna Is it gonna annoyingly die? You do get five back. It is not Yay. dead. All right, let's see. Uh, I don't think anyone else is getting a second attack. Nope. All right. Not Oka. Is he? Wasn't he firing arrows? Uh, he was firing arrows. Ah, right. Okay. If he had the crossbow speed, he might be able to fire more than one. Yeah. It's a new round, is it? Yep. Next round. Go ahead and roll initiative, everyone. Uh, question old. Yes. Also roll bell fate. Yeah. If I cast AOE spell on the far side of the ravine, do I have to roll spellcraft to determine where I get it? Uh, and... Yeah, and you'll be very, very... Uh, if you fail, uh, I will be using the grenade-like missile chart to determine where it is because it's so hard to see out there. Help. Yeah. Uh, would I need a cold shot to be able to hit the trolls now? Or are they large enough that I can shoot around people? Uh, with the crab there, yes, you do need a, a cold shot. Okay, so that's minus two initiative, minus four to hit? Minus, uh, it's a plus one penalty to initiative. Yep, okay. So. I'm just checking. Sorry, Where's... Finn, put a crab in your way. Uh, that was soulless. Well, okay, yeah, actually, you, you, you kept the crab in the I, way. I saved the, I saved the you, crab, you yeah. You kept the crab in the way, yeah. Yeah, we're the company of the broken crab. Can't can't break a crab. <laughs> crab claws. Uh, I will cast a spell, maybe. Yeah, I'm guessing that Braxton, like, hooked his foot around the crab's leg as it was sliding over the edge. <laughs> okay, anyone still need to roll uh, initiative? Yeah, uh, so I was looking at cast five. Yeah, I should do five. 
Okay. Oh, hey. All right, Leva is up first. Sorry about that. Uh, you said Leva can't cast spells, but she can uh, 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 throw a star from her rope, can't she? Yes. You'll have a penalty to attack, though. So she will do that. She will do that. Okay. Uh... Oh, God. Um, just a second. Mm -hmm. <laughs> First is the D20. What are you attacking? One of the trolls? Yes. Okay. The one... Uh... Okay. Um... Is it? Oh, is that a hit? Uh, which one are you? Uh, what are you? You're attacking one of the trolls, correct? I'm attacking the one that's to the southeast of Braxton. Okay, uh, that is a hit. Yes. Wow. Okay. Let me actually, see. actually, let me see if uh, it hits the uh, troll rather than one of the others there. Hold on a second. Yes, it okay, does hit the troll. One of the others. It does hit one of the troll. It does hit the troll. You're attacking with okay. range to a uh, melee combat. Yeah. That might hit Braxton. All yes, but, uh, but I was told that it doesn't matter with the stars. Oh, that's right. Yeah, they do. Uh, if you miss, they, they vanish. That's right. So that would. Uh, now I've forgotten how much it is. <laughs> uh, 2d4 plus 5. Um, okay, just a second. Where's the plus five? Sorry about that. Yeah, that's there okay. Alright, nine points of damage. Okay, Braxen. Okay. <laughs> right. Let's have another go at, at uh, chopping down this. Uh... Go away, roll 20. Give me dice. Have another go chopping down this uh, troll. All right. Oh, don't know if that's a hit because that's only four. Uh, my Thaco is 11. That is a miss. Yeah, I thought it might be. Okay. Still, I get another chance to miss later. Yep. Solace, your turn. I'm casting blur on myself in preparation of next round and. The crab is going to be attacking the troll in front of uh, Braxen. Okay. Again. <laughs> yep. Goodbye, Krabby McClough the third. Um, and once again, the uh, it slips on uh, all of the uh, the blood and uh, now troll I Icor on the the, uh, the bridge. And its first one was not a hit, so it goes over the edge, smashes down to the ice below, um, and you do hear the ice, like, audibly crack Braxen and Leva. Both yeah. of you would hear that. Um, and a then moment the of silence for the loyal and good boy. Crap vanishes. <laughs> Left all, your turn. I, he's he's fumbling around in his spell pouch for a card, and he's drawing a card as he casts Chaos Ward on himself. Okay. It's touch based, so. I think you don't want to be fumbling, uh, fumbling near the edge. <laughs> well, Laftal's fumbling around the edge. <laughs> Last 18 rounds. All right, nice. 18 rounds. I don't think that's going to matter. Um, what what's that do for you again? Uh. Basically, if I get targeted by an attack or spell, I get bonuses to my armor class, and as spells can ricochet or okay. go to an adjacent target. All right, Ocker, your turn. Okay. Uh, so the battlefield only gave me saving throw bonuses, so I'll uh, 
Just keep shooting. All right. I shoot this one. I had brought ten of each of my plus one plus two volts. So I'm down to like I think I'm at five plus two volts after this shot. Okay, you would have only been able to bring uh one type. So since you've been using the plus two, that's what you got. Okay, and I guess I brought like ten of those. So I'm down to like I'll be at five after this. Okay. So you had. I'll mention after you round. All right. Uh, that is a hit. Let me see if it uh, strikes a troll or Braxton. Didn't or you use your crossbow in the last memory? All oh, right. I now, used... I'm just wondering if you got that arrow back, that bolt quarrel. Yes, you did. Okay. Oh. So I am getting them back between fights. Mm -hmm. So I don't have to be as conservative. Okay, good. Um... All right, uh, Tom Brown has said, uh, asked uh, if you brought one of the uh, second set of bolts as one of your miscellaneous items. No. No, okay. I, I, uh, I, have, I have my miscellaneous items listed. I had brought potions. What? And oh, just surely, All right. surely you would have brought them as miscellaneous items. Oh. All right, so that was seven damage. <laughs> Which one were you targeting? Uh... The middle one. And also... And also, I may, I'd like to put forward a motion that Bracton loses 200 experience points for that <laughs> joke. You might accidentally hit him in the back of the head. Uh, so your uh, your bolt flies out uh, over uh, Braxton's head and uh, with a solid thunk lodges in the troll's neck and it collapses down. Nice. Okay. But it it wasn't it wasn't killed by fire. No, so you've got to do that. Might get up again. Well, I think Braxton's going to hit the other one. But Fiend's going first. Uh, before that, um, Laftal, you hear the crunching of snow behind you. No, no push. No as, push. <laughs> as some of the. Uh, uh, a, a mist that you hadn't noticed um, form uh, forms into a solid uh, object out of the uh, uh, the snowstorm, and it... push. Uh, I was gonna. Um, Let's see if uh, he hits first. Chaos I'm gonna. Does I'm gonna. Give me I'm gonna use a reroll. Oh well, <laughs> I'm using a reroll as well then. If you're doing. That. <laughs> All right, that's a hit. Can I reroll? No, I can't. That would be a saving throw. Yeah, um, my chaos ward only gives me a plus one to my armor class. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's not enough. Uh, All I'll right, still takes a flying lesson. So a uh, uh, a blue skinned, uh, ten foot tall figure appears, <laughs> and with an evil grin, he just shoves you off the cliff. Uh, you can use a reroll on your tumbling check if you want. Is this more than 60 feet? I can only it's use about it 60. 60 feet. It's about 60 feet. Uh, so I will use, use a reroll on my tumbling, I guess. Okay. I have to roll to see if I can... I'll just do it with each one. And, well, it's a pass, but yeah. Uh, tumbling. I can reduce. Oh, give me some. Ha it's now. half damage, I believe. Yeah, I can't remember what it is off the top of my head. I have to look it up. <laughs> you talked about it uh, earlier. Yeah, I only quoted half of it. The how far you thought. I didn't look at how much I actually reduced it. Sorry, tumbling. I'm pretty sure you said that it halved it. But yeah, go ahead and look it's at a it. Half. One half normal damage. Uh, yeah, so 60 half, 1d. Okay. 10d6? No. Oh, 60, it's, it's, it's 6d6. Oh, it's d6. Though. Yeah, it's 1d6 per uh, 10 feet. Alright, so um, 
You uh, you tumble off the cliff, hit the uh, uh, edge a couple times as you're uh, going, but you are contorting your body as you go, trying to lessen the impact, and you slam onto the ice uh, beneath you. Uh, that would be 20 points of damage, but it's reduced to 10. You have managed to uh, reduce the impact of the fall uh, fairly considerably. Just the ice yeah. crack. And yeah, I'm about to roll that. Need to get my... Sorry, Laughsaw's going to get his own version of hyperfermia. Why, why do people keep conspiring with Ald against the other players? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I set myself up for such a good situation. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, and there was an invisible tested. flying ogre mage around. Well, in, in this case... Uh, um, I thought uh, he was blinked out. And I was like, that ogre hasn't blinked back yet. And I was like, what's going on? Uh, let's see. That is going to be... Do, do, do. Go ceramic. Oh, that does make him visible, though. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, he's visible. My work is done. <laughs> it was worth it. Um, and uh, yeah, that ice. Uh, uh oh. That ice cracked, and uh, uh, breaks apart beneath you, and you uh, slip into the water. Um, it wasn't instantaneous. Um... You don't like break through. But uh, you do it like it does crack and you start to slip in. Um, so yeah, give me that's a nasty second. if I don't. I'll, no, I've still got out self, so I can take a CL form. So, which I'll probably have to do. So I can't you swim. Are down here now. All right. Oh, I've only someone had a magic rope to rescue you. <laughs> so I'm fine. Uh, mind you, the magic rope uh, wouldn't be long enough. Yeah, Braxton wouldn't want to get it wet as well. All right, let's it's see. important to keep that rope uh, dry. All right, one so hit. We actually see. You would have heard uh, Laftal cry out and uh, fall and heard him uh, splash into the yeah. uh, water. But we don't see the actual uh, ogre mage or whatever it is. Oh, he appeared. If you if you would look over there and you can and it's within range, you can see him. Uh huh. Uh, the elves were already loosing on the orcs though, so they are not going to be able to. Oh, this was the blue guy before. Yep. Thank you, yeah. Laftel, for uh, making him appear again. <laughs> It's no only 65 right. feet away from us. And now I'll count downwards and underground. I think that needs... Yeah, that's true. It's also down. It needs to change. All right. Uh, let's see. It is now the uh, troll's turn. And uh, that guy is not doing anything. So the one standing in front of uh, Braxen uh, is still going after you, Braxen. Okay. You that's are good. You are the threat as far as he is concerned. Uh, and that is going to be uh, one hit from a claw for eight points of damage. Eight points of damage. Not dead yet. <laughs> All right, Belthiad being uh, um, healed up uh, is moving back forward to... Uh, Actually, let's see, it's not too far. He's... I'm he guessing we've got to re get re over this bridge. I'm sorry? Once we get a... I'm guessing we've got to get him over the bridge. Once we walk off the end of the map, he'll go to his next dream. Yeah, maybe. All right, now the orcs are firing arrows. You know what the fun thing about this situation is if party members start kicking off trolls off the bridge, I'm going to have to do trolls down the bottom of the bridge. <laughs> you can climb up the side of the wall. If I can get out of the water. Also, based on what happened to you, I think the body of troll would also get uh, through the ice and into the water. Yeah, probably. It's much bigger than me. Don't worry, a giant crab can come pick you up and carry you out. I think crabs. You hear a number of uh, cries from the elves as uh, orcish arrows find their marks. Uh, Eleven. No, it's large. 
He's a good 10 feet tall. Uh, Finn, your turn. Oh, sorry. Damn. Finn? All right, well, as much as I would like to take a shot at the Ogre Mage, he was concentrating on shooting this one, so that's what we're going to roll. Okay. And it's a minus four for a culture. Yes. So overall minus two. That is a miss. Your uh, flaming arrow uh, streaks over and uh, um, dissipates beyond uh, the uh, troll, unfortunately. Uh, the dwarf gets an attack. Uh, and he misses. Actually, no, that's a hit. And five points of damage to the uh, troll. Nice. Okay, uh, let's see. Second attacks from Braxen. Yeah. Oh, probably a hit. That is a hit. All right, 12 points of damage. Is he still up? He is still up. So I, I get six. Uh, yes, you do. Oh, come on. Yes, six. All right, no one else getting a second attack? No. Okay. All right, next round. So what's my situation? Um, you're in the water, uh, but not like under the water, so you can you can pull yourself out. Uh, but you will be uh, very, very, very cold. Oh, right, we're doing this here again. Yep. I'm going to get revenge for this thing killing Laftal. Oh. <laughs> Such a noble uh, paladin you are. Such a noble act. And I'm going to need uh, saving throws versus uh, poison paralyzation, death magic from uh, Leva and uh, Laftal. Aww. I haven't even gone around yet. All oh, right, I also need to roll d6 for battle fate. Yep. Oh, PPDM. Saving throws. <laughs> nope. All right, found. Leva succeeds. One point of damage, Leva. Um. Laftal, you are going to be shivering too much to cast a spell. Yeah, um, I mean, am I able to... Also would I know damage. if I... C 1 point up. Uh, would I... I'm not incapable of climbing out. No, you're not. Uh, uh, you, are, you are freezing, though, so you will be suffering a penalty to climb uh, checks and stuff. Yeah, it might just be easier just to fly out. Uh, well, no, I'm just going to climb out and reposition for now. Okay. That's my intention. I assume... Am I... Is it... I assume it's still free. For what? I mean... To just, just climb out? Moving. Yeah. Yeah, climbing out and moving. Well, I assume it's just... I don't know. Yeah, just three if you're just uh, climbing out of the water and making sure that you're out. Uh, let's see. I need to roll for the chaos for the enemies. Let's see. Do, do, do. Okay. Oops, I'm on the right layer. There we go. There we 
go and all right and then the last two Okay. Silly question. Yes. Would I know if a CL form would be able to better tolerate the cold water? Yeah, you would know I mean, that, it yeah. that it can't. All right, so it made no difference. Right? Is there is there such a thing as a snow elf? Yeah, Laftel does not know about them. Yeah, Laftel does not know about them. Probably not in two E. <laughs> no, they are. No, they are. They are. Uh, I think they're different from uh, three. Oh, so. I, I honestly didn't realize that was a thing. I was joking. Uh, they're from a dragon magazine. Actually, I think that's uh, technically 1E, although they got... Uh, that means you're their doing deity a got canonized in 2E. Uh, I don't know if that considers that the snow elves got canonized, though. It'll, it's probably in some splat book somewhere. No, it's not. It's not. It's only in, that, uh, it's only in a couple places. I know the places, because I had to look up the deities. <laughs> All right, Leva, you're up first. So she is going to cast uh, magic missiles on on that mage. Oh, uh, sorry the uh, the the chattering wasn't stopping. What? The the chattering from last round does it doesn't stop until you get warm. So you need to head oh, back. Oh, so I could I couldn't. So, so she couldn't actually have uh, ha have cast a spell at all. Correct. Sorry. I'll let you. Uh, oh, I I'll didn't let know you, that. Since you're up first, I'll let you uh, uh, choose something new. Because I wasn't oh. clear. I wasn't clear. Uh, well, she didn't actually have anything else. You might want to yeah. back the, up the, the, the other thing she was going to do was a uh, was a spell as well. So that there's. If you well, I, I could stars. try with uh, let her let her decide. She, in that case, Sorry. she's no, 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 no. Let me let me finish. In that case, she's going to use the the wand of uh, bone chart. Okay. Is that even going to uh, going to cause get across? Uh, depends on where you want to use it. I want, she wants to use it on the mage. Uh, you can move a bit closer if you are using just a wand. Yes. You could move to like here. Maybe that give you better range. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. She'll do that. All right. But um, <laughs> we'll so, try and do that. <laughs> right. So, uh, what did you roll? A three. Yeah. Yes. Three. Okay. So that is going to be um, instead an eight. So let me put you at eight and all. Well, actually, no. 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 Wait. 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 She. She rolled the one. In the initiative, she rolled the one. One d ten plus one. Yeah, but if that's what you meant. But the number of the one. dice was three. He has to add yeah. on three more. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Because you're you're moving and uh, using a wand, which is slower than uh, uh, All the. Right. Yeah. All right. Uh, so Braxen, you're up first then. Okay, Brax is going to try to clobber a troll. Oh, that is a hit. Okay. 13 points of damage. Is he still alive? He is not and uh, you are going to get five points back. Okay. And your your sword uh, slashes into this troll, uh, chopping deeply into its torso, um, and uh, uh, its its flesh uh, burns from the flame uh, enough that it collapses down and. You're pretty sure that that one is completely dead. Okay. Alright. Ocker, you're up next. I'm going to shoot this thing with my crossbow. Okay. 
This is for Lethal, you fiend! Oh, God! <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens when you quote Laughter. Uh, Sorry. So, Good you, uh... Uh, whirl around after hearing uh, Ocker's, uh, I mean, uh, Laftel's uh, cry and the uh, 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 his form hitting oh, the... Uh, oh, 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 critical hit got redeemed. Yep, all right. That's a critical hit. Man, I wanted to describe you falling down and stuff. You're so mean. We could have joined Laftel. Uh, he wasn't. Him? He wasn't right on the edge, though. Wouldn't it be him? Yeah, dro wouldn't breaking that have the been pretty much just uh, breaking the string? Yeah. Uh, not damage. given where he is now, he would have actually fallen over. It wouldn't have fallen off the cliff because he's not on the edge, though. Uh, all right, uh, fourteen points of damage. And disrupting any spell he might have been casting. All right. Uh, okay, now it's Leva's turn. Okay. So she would move. Oh God, around here. Okay. Around here. All right. So you move to the uh, edge of the uh, the bridge and point the wand. And through at uh, the mage. Yep. Uh, through chattering teeth, uh, get out the command word. Yes. And a uh, a cone of uh, shards of bone uh, fly out from the uh, tip, tearing into him. Go ahead and uh, roll 64. <laughs> All right, 13 God. points of damage. The uh, the bone shards tear into him and just absolutely tear him apart. And I need to move him away from the edge to uh, get to the <laughs> little pop up thing because I can't scroll Good. my map anymore. And he also, collapses down dead. There what was she is. Laughel. No, I was like, please don't fall on me. <laughs> nope, nope, because he wasn't at the edge. You were. <laughs> Uh, Solus, your turn. Well, I was going to be casting magic missile on the ogre mage, but uh, since he's dead, I think I will just uh, uh, I will just make a desperate attempt to hit with uh, missiles on the enemies on the far side. Okay. Since they are not really clearly visible, I think uh, I might have to roll something. Uh, or will they still hit? They will still hit. Okay. Like you can see their forms. the uh, The problem would be that if there was a mixed melee going on over there, then I might roll to see if you've actually targeted the proper thing. Okay, I will target these two, and the left one gets the three missiles. Okay. So give me. Uh... Uh, 2d4 for the uh, first one, uh, 2d4 plus 2 for the first one, and 3d4 plus 3 for the second one. Alright, first one, 9 points of damage. Um, you see a uh, uh, that form a crumple, and 9 points of damage for the other one, and he crumples to the ground as well, behind those pavises. Uh, that was perfect split. All right, left all. Climbing out, I guess. Okay, uh, go ahead and give me a dexterity check. Oh yeah, these always go. Oh, twenty. All right, you succeed in uh, scrambling out uh, and onto the ice, uh, shivering violently. Um, uh, soaked to the skin, um, but uh, you did hear the uh, the sound of the uh, of Ocker getting revenge for you. Uh, Velthiad is going to uh, advance up 
and right, let's say that. to Braxen. Actually, let me go. It's, mm -hmm. he, he was uh, going to be under that, so let's do that. Um. And he, he uh, comes up beside you, uh, Braxton, and he says, uh, the, or the orcs are quite well entrenched back there. We need to break through. Let me know when you're ready to go. Yep. All right. We can do that one is doing that. Okay. Uh, the dwarf says, uh, um, I'm pretty injured, but I'm ready to keep fighting. The orcs need to go. Need to be eliminated. I can take that guy off the list. Finn, your turn. Well, seeing as Finn is fresh out of targets, but he didn't roll the move, he's just going to lob an arrow into this general area. Okay. And hope somebody catches it for him. Okay. Standard arrow. Are you, are right, you standard arrow. catch? All right, uh, that is going to be um, that is going to be a miss. Okay. Uh, actually, what's your Thaco? Sixteen. Nope, that is a hit. I'm sorry. Oh, cool. You hit one of the uh, uh, one of the smaller figures back there. Yeah, there should be enough targets. Okay, and two, two, D six plus two. Yeah, Your cry of pain as one of them goes down. Okay. All right. Um, seeing that uh, uh, this. Troll here is just standing around doing nothing. The uh, other gnolls here are going to be pushing forward and charging down as best they can. Uh, old? Yep. How far can I target with the AOE spell uh, without risking uh, it completely going into the wrong direction? Um... So the the thing is is like you can get it where you want it to go generally uh mm -hmm. but given the the uh, conditions it's hard to pick out individual targets and stuff like that um so it really depends on what the spell is and uh what you're trying to target and stuff like that um since I was planning on uh, lobbing fireball in there I mean you can do it, but, uh, um, yeah, I mean, like, you might misjudge the distance and stuff like that, so. Spellcraft check, there will be a penalty to that, and if it fails, then I will be doing, uh, the grenade-like missiles, uh, chart to see where it goes. But with the limitation <laughs> that I can't, uh, actually roll it, uh, so that it, uh, goes, uh, goes onto my feet. No, it won't do that. It won't, it won't blow up in your face kind of thing. Um, basically what it is, is, is like, it would be a case of you misjudging the distance and exactly the, uh, direction kind of thing. It, it's not like it gets redirected or something like that. It's just okay. that because of the heavy snow, it's really hard for you to see and judge distances and stuff like that. So it just, it, it just may be off target by a bit. Okay. All right, uh, the orcs are going to be uh, firing. Some of them are now targeting you guys because you are not actually uh, uh, in melee combat. So let's see. That is going to be against the dwarf, against uh, Braxen and Velthiad. No. Uh, Braxen, you are hit. Uh, for four points of damage. Arrow flies out and hits you. Uh, let's see. Finn, Ocker, and Leva. 
That is all misses. And then for the elves, no injuries. All right, elves are firing back. And they do not uh, get any hits either. Question. Yeah. Do the orcs get a reduced penalty to hit Leva because of the rain cloud? Uh, yes. I mean, well, no, <laughs> it, it's not that they, like, um, she's invisible, so there's a reduced chance to hit her. But the fact that the rain cloud is there means that they know someone is there. Or they know something mm -hmm. is there. So one of them was targeting it. Uh, one thing I will say is that because of these pavises, they're giving them these guys a good cover against Fireball. Mm -hmm. So a successful save would mean no damage. Mm, okay. But would it destroy the pavises? Uh, I'd roll uh, saving throws for them. Okay, let's see. Second attacks. Uh... Can Braxton try to use his second attack to burn the troll that would regenerate. Yes. yes, you can. Okay. I wonder if there's a, a flame icon that I can use. Yeah, I'll do that. Alright. Uh, so you wanted to go for the middle one? Yeah. yeah oh! you, don't, you don't have to roll an attack roll. You don't have to roll. <laughs> That's luck. Thankfully. Yeah. And let's see. Um, you don't need to roll damage either. Okay. You just You just chop it up. Okay. Like, well, I'm just trying to set light to it. So. Right, right. I mean, like, like you're 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 doing your best to chop it up and and get as much of it burning as possible, kind of thing. Um, and Finn, you have a second attack. Yep. So uh, let's see if I can disrupt this charge. Okay. That's a hit. All right, seven points of damage. Uh, he does not go down. All right. No one else getting a second attack? Nope. Okay. All right. Go ahead and roll for initiative next round. Back. Question? <clears throat> yes. If Lebo were... To, to move to the front and use the wand again. So would that be plus four, or or what would that be? Um, plus three for the wand, plus two for moving through the snow. Okay, thank you. Oh, sorry. Question. Um, but before you do that, uh, I need uh, Laftal and Leva, both of you, to make saving throws versus uh, petrification, polymor. Uh, not uh, sorry. Uh, poison, paralyzation, death magic. Yeah, I was just wondering how long I can sustain staying conscious when I'm in hypothermia. It's not that you're in hypothermia yet, but you're getting you're there. In, yeah, you're in really bad shape. Uh, is uh, that a, a success? Of... Oh, mine. Uh, yeah, success. Okay, so both of you take one point of damage. Leva, I need you to make a dexterity check. Ooh. Because you are on the edge and it is raining <laughs> around you. Oh, gosh. Just a moment. Mm -hmm. um, I just go for a d20. Okay. Okay. Ooh. That's very, very bad. Oh, fool, catch me! <laughs> That's very bad. I am nowhere near you to catch That's you. That's very bad. <laughs> well, fly! Come on. Laftal's just gotten out of the war at the moment. Um, yeah, uh, I will. I will let you know what that what the results of that are in just a second. I need to finish rolling initiatives. Because it might dictate my action if I see her go down. Yeah. Well, I can't do anything this round. It would be just going over in that direction anyway. So, which I I don't know what the movement rate is on ice. I'm wearing crampons, so I'm not slipping. Uh, you're ju the the crampons are just uh, eliminating, pardon me, the initiative penalty. It's not reducing so the movement rate. I can just or improving the movement I, rate. I'm just moving this round, sir. So. 
Okay. Uh, actually, that one is dead. Okay. So, uh, lever. Um, as you uh, are getting ready to uh, make your actions, the uh, uh, ice bridge beneath your feet uh, is extremely slick, and you lose your footing, and you go over the edge. I will allow you to make a strength check to grab onto the edge. A strength what? Strength check. Just feel glad you're not <laughs> soulless. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know that she's that much uh, better than him, though. No, she's not. Absolutely not. I thought you had, like, an 11 or something. Just Still a second, not I that need much to know. better. He's I better mean, that's 25% more uh, chance, uh, bigger huge. chance. Well, it's not like she's going to be able to survive the fall if she does fall. Well, right, let's do the D20 for the moment. No, you succeed. Okay. You succeeded. Oh, you, you're you holding on. Succeeded with that roll. <laughs> um, <laughs> so you Ooh. are you are right on the edge, holding on. You've fallen, Different slipped, rock. gone, started to go over the edge, but you've grabbed on. You managed to uh, uh, um, grab onto uh, uh, like it's not completely smooth, so uh, there's some roughness, but it is ice, so you are slipping. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. She so lost what she was that, on to. With that, uh, probably. Uh, you'll have to take account of that uh, after you are safe or fall. So, now, everyone uh, has taken what? that into account, can take that into account for their initiative. If you want to change up what you're doing, you can go ahead and do so. Yeah. Go ahead and roll initiative. But she hasn't oh. rolled yet. Right. So, uh, she would uh, try and she will try and climb back up. Okay, so that'll be a three. That's a three, okay. Now, I will say that if you fail climb, trying to climb back up, that is going to uh, cause you to fall. Well, what else could you do? Uh, you can just try to hang oh. on. I would allow you it's to have a bonus to the... Uh, it would still be a... Uh, a strength check, but I'd give you a bonus since you're not trying to exert yourself as much. Basically, <sighs> wait for someone to come and uh, lift you up. All right, help! <laughs> she holds on. What what does she need to uh, to roll in that still case? Still, still three. And she remember, seems to like hanging on. <laughs> if, anyone is, if anyone is going to uh, like move over to uh, try and uh, save Leva, remember you are moving through snow, so that is a plus two uh, penalty to your initiative. I don't think I could get there in time. That's fair. Okay. Anyone else uh, still need to roll initiative? All right. Everyone has rolled. Let's go ahead and sort it. All right, Ocker, you're up first. Oh, actually, I forgot to hold on. Uh, I forgot to roll uh, for the chaos for the uh, enemies. I need to do that so I know what they're actually doing. Don't go exactly to that square, James. It's uh, yeah, still nope, 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 nope. He goes where he goes. He's got to go there to get her. Yeah, he's got to be able to be edge to go on like his belly to pull her up. Right, you can't you can't tell him what to do unless uh, it's on your turn. Yeah, uh, my mic was muted. I kept right, trying I'm... to say it. Okay, that's... I'm hanging over and I'm lifting her back up. Okay, uh, give me a second because I forgot to uh, uh, roll the chaos for the uh, enemies, and I need to do that so I know what they're doing. You want me to go back to my previous position? Uh, no, you can you can be there. I just need to. Uh, Did you do your battle fight? I did not. Let me roll that. That might help. help. That might help. Nope. Nope. Well, that's okay. Is one just nothing, or is it... Yeah, one's nothing. Okay. Well, that guy has, uh, has wandered away. Okay. I got that. All right. Uh, so you, uh, 
Ocker, you uh, rush over, uh, and I need you to give me a, and you've gotten yourself a reroll. Uh, I need you to uh, make a dexterity check. Um, but before you do that, can you describe exactly how you think that you're, you, you'd be trying to grab her? Uh, well, I'd try to, like, grab by the wrist and pull her up. Okay. Uh, how are you moving over to her, then? Uh, well, I'm heading over, but I'm being... I, I'm not going too fast because I don't want to slip and fall off the edge. I'm being careful about it, but I'm trying to get there with some speed, you know? Okay. Uh, so, give me a dexterity check with a minus one bonus. Okay. I'll use my reroll for this one. Okay. I figured. <laughs> so I'll go with the six. So that's a five. Okay. Uh, so you uh, rush over. Your feet start to slip out from under you, but you decide uh, to, like, uh, flop down on, onto hands and knees um, so you got more stability, uh, which prevents you from sliding. Um, you get to the edge and grab Leva's uh, arms. Give me a strength check. Okay. Any bonus? Nope. Yeah, I'd pull her up. But you easily, easily uh, uh, pull her back up. Can I deposit her over here? Uh, no, you can just deposit her on the uh, edge. <laughs> with, okay. those, with those strength checks that are from uh... <laughs> thank you <laughs> thank you <laughs> yeah. you're welcome now try not to fall again you know but try not to fall again huh hmm. I said if you can help it I got the assistance. I'll, I'll, I'll try. <laughs> so you're you're not standing. Uh, neither of you are standing. You're 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 basically prone uh, on the edge. So uh, keep that in mind. Uh, Laftol, your turn. Uh, he he saw the precarious. Well, he thinks he saw a precarious situation. So he's just like, hovering around underneath. But he's going to. He can't cast magic, so he's going to try his luck at drinking a. You said that I was allowed to take the temporary healing potions with us because they yeah. weren't magical. Yeah. So I'm going to try drinking that to see if that helps with the hypothermia. Uh, I doubt it, but I'm going to try. It helps stave it off by giving you hit points, so go ahead and roll. Uh, uh, is it just 2d4 or is it 2d4 plus 2d4 oh, plus 2. 2, yeah. Ooh, 9. That helps. Okay. But I'm still chattering like a madman. All right. Um, Velthiad, uh seeing these uh, gnolls uh, moving towards you, he still has his bow out, um, and he is going to fire an arrow at the uh, the lead one that already has an arrow in him, uh, and that is a hit. And. That is going to be a kill. All right, Leva. Uh, so since you've been pulled up, um, you can scramble to like the middle of the uh, the bridge and stand up if you want. Oops. Yes. Okay. Middle of the bridge. Yeah. Ah. Uh, just like in in like I mean, if you just move one uh, square away, that's fine. Yeah, it doesn't want to move. I'm sorry. All right, just right there. Yes, okay. thank you. <laughs> no problem. Uh, the dwarf is hanging back with you, Braxen. And Finn, your turn. Well, seeing that Leva is now safe, Finn is just going to move forward. Okay. And he is going to drink his strength potion he brought with him. Okay. It's the steel flask filled with a reddish rust-colored liquid. All right, let me see what that does. Okay. 
Of course, this would be one that I'd keep forgetting to go back and write down the uh, <laughs> description for. Uh, I think that says you to 18. That's what I'm going to go with for now, but uh, I will I'll get Well, you've got a break coming up. Yes, but uh, so <laughs> here's the thing. Um, I think we're pretty close to uh, finishing up this dream. Right. Um, and I'm not feeling that well, so I think that I want to finish up this dream and and then end the session a little early. Okay. Um, mm hmm Because uh, I am Just definitely feeling... Sure, yeah. Uh, I, I'll, like, there'll, there'll come a point when I'm, I'm con you know, I'm like, you guys, you guys have done enough. So, um, for yeah. now I'll say, uh, uh, Finn, you're at strength 18. Uh, remind me to double check the description of that. Uh, and I will go put that into the, uh, my notes. Oh, okay. Uh, later. All right. Solus. Uh, also, I'm... would I have been oh. able to move more than, uh, 30 feet? Yes. Uh, okay. you can move 45, uh, 40. Okay. So I would move a little bit closer to the front line. Then. Okay. Probably can get right about there. All right. Solus. I'm casting uh, the fireball, and uh, if it matters, I have the luck scale to give me better luck. Okay. All so right. So first a spellcraft check. Yes. Okay. That's a bit over. Yeah, uh, and with the penalty involved, uh, that is uh, definitely going to be a failure. So, where are you trying to target it? I was going to target it uh, about his puppies. Okay. So, let me go ahead and pull this out. Now, let me actually put this on the uh, GM layer so I can figure that out. Give me just a second. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Grenade-like missile. Go ahead and give me a d10, please. Does the luck scale help me? Uh, no, because this is uh, strictly on, on figuring out where it goes. Okay. All right. Um, Are we rolling initiative? No, he's no. casting a spell. Uh, all right. So um, you underestimated the the no, you overestimated the distance, right? Uh -huh. No, underestimated. Whatever. Uh, it goes farther back. Sorry, brain. Oh, so brain they get the backwash of it. Does it hit anyone? Uh, it will. So basically, that's where it is. Um, okay. The uh, it explodes. Uh, you see a a burst of flame uh, beyond there. Um, and given that you actually targeted behind, mm -hmm. uh, ended up target landing it behind the pavises. These guys actually gain no bonus for the cover. Mm -hmm. uh, so that is going to kill the. Uh, uh, Plastor longingly back. reaches out for the heat source that's like miles away from him. <laughs> Laftal, if you just come up the bridge, I can give you two rounds of very warm heat. Alright, so that one is dead. That one is dead, because it doesn't matter if they make the saving throw. So these six orcs are definitely dead. Mm-hmm. The pavises in the back are going to be destroyed as well, but that doesn't matter. Well, it prevents if there's uh, reinforcements for the orcs uh, getting to those covers. It's now got a beacon. Hmm. Uh, doo -doo -doo. And yeah, it might start, uh, start some burning in there that uh, makes it more visible. Okay. 
Uh, the Knoll, who is in the effect, is uh, um, okay, though. Uh, he made his saving throw, and he was getting benefit from uh, the fact that they blew up behind the uh, Pavises. Alright, elves are going to make their attacks, and they miss. Braxen, your turn. Okay, Braxen's going to move forward. The middle guy got killed, mm -hmm. but he will go there and <laughs> he'll go there and he'll attack this guy okay oh nice uh, that is a critical hit was that 2d12 plus 4 uh, that is going to be uh, yes 2d12 because oh, no, they no. are large it's... no they're large they are large they're sorry. large All right, 20 points of damage. You uh, basically uh, chop a Nolan too. <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty good hit. What, what do I get fun. out of it? <laughs> uh, five. Five. Okay. <laughs> and the uh, orcs are going to be firing back. And they are going to hit a couple of elves. Okay. All right, and let's see. There is a uh, an orc and a knoll that are fighting each other. Uh, and the uh, the knoll kills the orc. There we go. All right, the uh, other knoll is going to attack you, uh, Braxen. Okay. Uh, and he misses. All right, uh, so let's see. You are getting a second attack. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I wasn't having that happen before. Uh, don't worry about it for now. No. Uh, Thacko? Eight. Thacko is 11. That's a hit. No, not 2d12 plus 4. Alright, 6 points of damage. He is still standing. So I get and 3. And gets 3. Yeah. Uh, yes. I have to say that ring is really giving good staying power for Braxel. When the enemies yeah. aren't the kind that can uh, almost one-shot him. Yep. Well, I would if he got two weapons as well. I was uh, well. He has got two weapons. <laughs> He's just not using yeah, two but weapons. Two weapon fighting is would be almost necessary for fighting with two weapons. All right. So uh, let's see. Go ahead and start uh, rolling for next round initiative. I guess I have to roll for my hypothermia damage. Also. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, Leva and uh, Laftal give me uh, saving throws, uh, poison paralyzation, death magic. Did the uh, elves shoot? What's, what's going the elves to... did shoot, yeah. I failed. Alright. By one. So, four points of damage, uh, Laftal. Eh. And one point of damage, Leva. Is it like a stream of like water coming off the edge? Um, it's it's freezing pretty quick. Uh, but yeah, there oh, is some water coming off forming. the edge from uh, Leva's rain. There's icicle forming then. Yeah, it's a it's a little pinkish too because uh, there's a lot of blood up there. Don't stand under it, Laftel. <laughs> Oh yeah, I need to roll. Uh, did I roll? Uh, might help. No, I didn't. Might uh, help if you roll. You know. 
free. So we still can't uh, cast any spells, correct? Correct. Uh -huh. Yeah, you would have okay. to... I think you would have to visit the cabin to get warm enough. Or have a spell uh, effect you that yourself. would warm you up. I will say, if you got hit by a fireball, it would work. For a round, maybe. I mean, it depends on how long... Uh, uh, it depends on whether you die or not from it. But uh, no, it, it would definitely uh, 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 warm you up and, and dry out I your, mean, uh, your, your clothing. I mean, the fire... A fireball might uh, also vaporize the cloud. All right. Anyone still need to roll initiative? I need to roll for the uh, um, confusion. How thick is this ice? Because I had to fall quite hard to break the ice. Uh, it's thinner at the edge, but it's pretty thick at the middle. So I could run... I can leave the normal 80. No, I can make it to the edge closer. Uh, do, do remember that the giant crab fell here. Yeah. And it cracked the ice. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, so. um, but yeah, so uh, you... You can move at your normal speed, uh, um, you know, minus the uh, uh, snow depth penalty. I don't get it with the crown hunts. Hey, I need to run off for a quick second. I'll be back in like five minutes. I see. Okay. Did you roll uh, initiative? I did. Okay. You are prone, though, are you? Yeah, he is. Uh, okay. Anyone uh, he... need to roll initiative still? I don't know if he rolled his battle fight. He probably did not. He can roll it when he gets back. All right, Velthiad is gonna uh, come up here and get these uh, knolls to the back. Hold on a second. There we go. Uh, he is going to um, stand uh, beside you, uh, Braxen. Uh, he's putting his bow away and pulling out his sword, uh, but that is going to prevent him from being able to attack the knoll. Laftal, your turn. Uh, he's just, I guess, avoiding the the gaping hole of crab. Okay, it's and actually just a, a cracked. It didn't break through. Oh, I didn't. Fuck! I can go around it then. Just straight. You down. can go around it, but if you go if you go straight, you are looking at uh uh, uh me making a, a saving throw for the ice. All right. So if I go over by one square, like that is that good? Yeah. Can you see that? No. Yeah. Right. And I will go there. Because 80 is my move. Oh dear. That's somewhere like down there. Okay. Uh, Finn, your turn. Yeah, Finn's going to put his bow away, uh, get out his mace, and he's going to come over here and take a swing at the knoll. Okay. With his uh, new strength, so I have to actually look up the bonuses. Um, 18 is plus 1 to hit, plus 2 to damage. Okay. So, that's going to be a total of plus 4. Oh, you Two know hits. what the funny thing is? If we all brought our potions and we all learned how to stream, so I go, figure out what your potions do, drink them. <laughs> <laughs> um, alright, so, uh, what's, what's your Thacko? 16. That's going to be hit. And they are man-sized. Uh, no, actually, they're large. Oh, okay. Um, so that's actually less damage. That's fine. D6 uh, plus 5. Alright, 7 points of damage. He is still uh, standing. Uh, we will come back to Ocker. Uh, the dwarf is going to uh, come up and uh, attack with his axe and get a critical hit. I mean, I think that's a hit. What do you guys think? It yeah, might be. All right, he chops down that uh, knoll. 
Uh, Solas, your turn. Uh, do you know what's funny? Hmm. See, Solas doesn't know what Laftel did. Laftel might have uh, just run into danger zone. Oh, goody. I'm 60 feet down, so... Yeah. Uh, I'm casting uh, Ice Storm, uh, the hail oh. version in here. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, since sometime. that's where the most of the orcs are, and so, again, Solas doesn't know that Lavdal is there. So about right it's... there? Yeah, I think I have to roll the spell, spell uh, craft check again. Yeah, I just wanted to uh, get the yeah. position of first. Okay, that successes. Okay, so right there. Uh, let me go ahead and put that on the GM layer. Uh, go ahead and give me 3d10, please. Mm-hmm. Is today PvP day? Yes. Every day is PvP day. Well, that's a nice number. Okay, so... Uh... Dead. Dead. You killed Laftal? Dead. Yes, he did. No, he didn't. Uh, Laftal was just, just uh, far enough. Hold on. I hate that you can't get like when 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 the token's right on the edge of the map, you can't scroll over far mm -hmm. enough to to get the uh the pop-up thing. All yeah. right. Uh so, Laftol, uh you're heading straight for the cliff face, right? Pretty much. Okay, so you see up above it uh a uh storm cloud of, a small storm cloud appears and uh, large hailstones come uh, crashing down, pummeling uh, the top of the uh, <laughs> the cliff face. Um, you are outside of the area of effect. Uh, however, that does cause uh, a lot of snow and ice to fall down the cliff face. Yeah, I'm not climbing on that side. Okay. <laughs> Braxton, your turn. Um... I rolled for not moving because there was a guy in front of me. So does that mean I can't move or do I have to be too slower? Uh, I will put you as a two slower, which does mean that the troll is going first. And the I'm back. Rolls. All right. Uh, before we do that, then, Braxton, let me, uh, let me get you just moved. Should I change the 13? Nah, I, I, I'll tell oh, you. Oh, you tell me. Yeah. Brilliant. There we go. All right, Ocker, what, what did you want to do? Get back to your feet first? I get back to my feet, get like... Uh... To over here and shoot again. Okay. And I'll shoot this big guy. All right. So. That is going to be a miss. 10. That's going to be a miss. Okay. Yeah, they. They would get some cover. All right, the uh, Noel is attacking his friend and miss. All right, Braxton. Okay, so um, a quick question. Mm -hmm. Is this a load of spikes sticking out these palisade things? Uh, no, it's uh, spears. Uh, not spears, uh, arrows that have uh, embedded in them. Oh, right, okay. Uh, okay, so... Um, uh, Braxton's going to call out to Belithad. Admiral, I'm hoping when we get to the other side of this bridge, you'll wake up and go back to the future, and we can find out who's trying to attack you in your dreams. And then he's going to try heading towards that troll. I'm not sure you can get there. I can get there. You can get there. I can. Okay. Yeah. I can't, can't seem to be get, getting my ruler up anymore. Eh, don't worry about it for now. It's 35 feet, so it's it's yeah just within range. Okay, um, uh, I've moved slightly. I didn't want it to be in the middle. That's fine. Don't worry too much about it. Okay. Okay, so let's chop at this guy. All right, so the troll is just kind of like standing around dumbly. Yeah. I, I fully That's... expected it to uh, it to like rip and tear through uh, uh, the enemies back here, but <laughs> I have just kept <laughs> rolling that it's just standing confused. <laughs> All right, that's a hit. Okay. Let's see if... Mm, Chaos and Confusion is a really good spell for causing distance. Yeah. I can hit it without jumping backwards. 16 points of damage. 
Yay. That is a pretty good. Good, avenge my crab. <laughs> well, it wasn't that one that killed your crab. Um, you had other crabs. The one that was behind here. Do I, yeah. do I get eight back? Uh, yes, you do. So I think it's still you do remember that I got four crabs last time. Leva, your turn. I'm guessing the price of crabs has gone up. Well, Leva is... Uh... She lost sight of her target. So I guess she just moves forward. Could she move down to to the side of Velthiad? Uh Yes, you can. Let's see what I actually managed to do it this time. Hey, it moved. Yeah, that's pretty good. I will be here. Okay, so next to Finn. Yeah, uh, yes, next to Finn, not to the wealthy artist, just the name over on top of Finn. <laughs> uh, she doesn't actually do anything because she wanted to use the wand again, but that would uh, sort of kill, or at least very badly, maim Braxen. Um, can Lever see over the palisade? No, they're, they're, oh, they're high. Okay. Yeah, they're she, at least. She was going to put something height. behind the palisade, but it's too late now, and uh, and she's shivering too much. She's too cold to do that. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's see. The elves and the orcs are firing. All right. Another. Uh, uh, oh, uh, you know what? I forgot that there were only three orcs left. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Yeah, so I, I think what I'm gonna say actually is that uh, with all you guys and that or that troll has been just standing around uh, confused, um, you guys are gonna easily dispatch uh, mm -hmm. the rest of these guys over the next uh, couple rounds. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, the, that was part of the reason why I cast Fireball and Ice Storm there. Yep. Okay, well, Braxton will try and talk to the Admiral some more before we leave this okay. immediate area. So uh, he will, uh, um, he would have uh, like moved up uh, the next round as well. And as he was coming up to you, he'd be, uh, uh, he'd say something uh, to you. Uh, what in the name of Sehanin are you talking about? We just need, we need to defeat these uh, these creatures and take back the other side of the ravine. Just focus on your your task, and when this is done, uh, see the clerics crying out loud. Yeah, yeah. Braxton would, when he gets a chance, be saying that nickname and saying the the unhuman war was a long time ago, and you're now admiral, and you've been cursed into a sleep by your enemies who sent you back into this era in your dreams. So at that point, he would also he would he would next uh, order you uh, as soon as mm. this engagement is complete to uh, see the clerics to uh, 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 heal yeah. your mind. Uh, specifically, he would tell you to see the uh, uh, priests of uh, Sehenin, uh so that they can uh, cure your madness. Um. <laughs> so uh, the. Is there time to heal before. Uh... Uh no, because you would be you'd be uh there'd be a lot of mop up uh you'd need to take care of the um uh, the trolls as well uh and the other elves would be rushing forward uh at the same time this is all like like there's no breathing room in this uh yeah at least two, like like crossbow bolts are nearby got healing potions the players can use their own. Uh, since said, like... I am, since I am, uh, wrapping it up quickly, I'm going to say no. Uh, how Are you going to do the XP next time? Uh, no, I will do it this time. Um, however, uh, what I will say, uh, is that, um, mm -hmm. you, uh, let's see. So everyone who is injured. Uh, give me a saving throw versus uh, poison, paralyzation, uh, or death magic. Okay. How does it work for me with regeneration? This is weird. For it's me, I'd imagine. Just, it, it's just weird. Don't worry uh, about yeah. it right now. 
What uh, is that we have to pass or fail? I can't remember. Uh, oh, well, you need eight. to you need to pass if you. I'll All let right. you know. I pass. Um, All right, so you roll uh, under it. Over. Over. Yeah. I rolled one of oh, the yeah. few numbers that failed. All oh, the hyperfarmic people are fine. Oh, sorry. I should have rolled with the button on the top. That's fine. Uh, so those who uh, succeed, mm -hmm. um, you will be restored to full hit points. Nice. Those who fail get half of what you're missing back. Yeah. Um, well, thankfully, I'm not uh, missing that much. All of your uh, memorized spells uh, will come back if you uh, made your save. Mm -hmm. uh, my spell components come Round it down or up? Did you fail? Yes, I'm missing a fifth, five points. Um, all right. So, oh, five points. Oh, you round down. So you only get two points back. Okay. Yeah. And... Do I get all my crossbow bolts back? Yes, you do. Nice. Spell components? Yeah. <laughs> Lev has uh... got the most important question. Does, does she keep her cloud? <laughs> uh, no, she will not. Um, she dry up. And yes, you will, uh, Laftal and uh, Leva, you will be uh, completely warm as you transition to the next dream. Um, ah, that's as good. As that's the nice. like, as the elves are are rushing across the uh, the bridge to um, take the other side, um, and they're they're doing it like single file so that they're like right in the middle, and and there's less chance for of slipping slipping and stuff. Um, so, like, you might be preparing. Oh, well, oh, good. Like, phew, things are calmed down. We can we can do some healing, and then everything fades out to blackness. Um, let's see. So your uh, uses of uh, um, daily powers will be restored. Spells will be restored. Um, uh, and the hit points, as I indicated, depending on whether you passed or made the save mm -hmm. and I'm going to I'm not going to bring you over to the next map because uh, a, 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 an additional reason for not wanting this is because I would have to turn off the uh, um, uh, the lighting effects yeah uh, and I, I'd rather not do that if I can avoid it uh, for just Plus a little it's going to be a surprise yeah a uh, question mm -hmm. I'll have to use the a potion of temporary healing potion and uh, Finn used the potion of uh, strength. Do those come back? The temporary healing potion does not. Uh, the potion uh -huh. of strength does. I was actually just about to ask that. Yeah. Uh, temporary potion is gone. And all spell effects that are active end. Yeah. So you will not be under any, any uh, spell effects. Um... So everything fades to uh, black, and then uh, slowly uh, images start to become clear around you, and uh, once again your surroundings come into focus. And you find yourself along a well-trodden path in a verdant forest, but you immediately realize that uh, the peacefulness of uh, your immediate surroundings is... Uh, Belied by a massive swath of destruction you can see ahead of you crossing the path. Furthermore, there are sounds of crashing and screams uh, in that general direction. You can see through the trees and down the uh, pathway uh, there are elves, both uh, warriors and civilians. Some are fighting, others are fleeing. What you can see of their foes are uh, small, about uh, um, dwarf-sized uh, figures uh, that are gross, fleshy forms with steel blades sprouting from the ends of their limbs. And further in the trees, you can see much larger creatures tossing elves about like ragdolls, and something of even greater size even further in the trees. Hmm. Uh, is it day or night? It's daytime. It'll be daytime. Uh, near you is a group of archers giving cover fire to a group of elven civilians fleeing towards you. Uh, one of the uh, archers uh, spots you and shouts out, 
Get to the south. These foul abominations have already crushed a dozen villages and are making a, making a push for Meliathra. Get to the defense force there and assist. We'll hold this position. And that is where we will uh, bring you in next time. But before we do that, um, I want everyone to make a wisdom check against a third of your score. Uh, and if you succeeded once before, you get a plus one. If you succeeded twice before, you get a plus two. And what? everyone in general gets a, uh, a plus two. Uh, Sorry, that's all. That's going to be negative. That's all going to be minuses to the rolls. So with the plus two, I succeed. Third of ten is going to be three. Yeah. No. Oh. Well, uh, I definitely passed. I passed even without the bonuses. Mm, no. Nice. <laughs> okay, so uh, Finn and Solus uh, passed. But mm -hmm. I haven't passed any of these rolls. Okay, that's fine. So Finn and Solus. Uh, levels and eight levels wisdom is fourteen. Okay, so and a minus yeah, two. To that. Eight's uh eight's gonna be a uh failure. Yeah. Because you haven't you haven't passed uh succeeded on, on any of the previous ones, correct? I have to say I don't remember. <laughs> I don't think I don't remember you doing so. I remember um you'd have got sent a message by Ord. Yeah, uh he, he would have I think no, I didn't. I think Finn I didn't. succeeded both times and I think Solus and Laptal succeeded once each, correct? Yeah, I had a plus. Uh no, I haven't succeeded before. This is first success. Okay. I've succeeded once, but mine was still way too high. Does uh, does the left tell a second check on the first dream count? No. That was different. Okay. okay. Uh, so let's see. Uh, Finn and Solus, let me go ahead and whisper something to you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do -do. I think it's just a reaction to how the dream's forming. Yeah, I'll be able to see. Didn't Sola say he, fa he he failed because he didn't do any of the other two? Uh, we did get the plus two. Everyone get got the plus two, so I succeeded with that. Yeah. I don't know what these messages are, but Braxton's the only one that seems to be trying to talk the guy out of his dream. Oh, no, Leftal did last time. I was reinforcing what you were doing. That was all. Yeah. Uh, Braxton, I think with uh, two uh, failed attempts, you would now realize that... Um, whatever is going to work is not going to be talking to him. Yeah. All right, so I send it to... Uh, uh, Finn, let me get it to Solus. Okay, there we go. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So, um, and uh, I'm not going to take you to the uh, next uh, map, but I do want you guys to know, and I'll, I'll remind you, of course, uh, that the uh, map is going to be uh, having 10-foot squares, not 5-foot squares. Okay. Mm -hmm. To give a, a better sense of uh, big distances. So keep that in mind. All right. So mm -hmm. let me uh, go ahead and do some XP. Are we on next week? Oh, not next week, sorry. Um, that's right. Uh, we are going to be out for the next two weeks uh, because of uh, absences. Um, so we will be back in three weeks. So... Well, at least if it gives you time to recuperate well. Yes, I. if I'm still sick at that point, uh, there's, there's something really wrong with me. So. I don't know, I'll get COVID again. So on the 10th. I'm uh, let's see. Next week's... 27th for the week after. Yes. Yeah. The 10th. Again, barring any any other unforeseen uh, things, which we don't usually have any, um, we should be back on June 10th. Yeah. All right. Sounds so good. That will be. Let me total up the XP. 
Uh, that means I can plan stuff for weekends. I've done that in a while. <laughs> Uh, I hadn't had a nephew born the, um, the other day. Well, well it's nice to have a. Well, it's nice to have a game every weekend. It's uh, also occasionally good to get a chance to do something else. I can sleep in. <laughs> That's the best part. <laughs> Just total up the XP. Doo, doo, doo. And so all that information was just like what you got uh, on with just a very quick, uh, like, couple second glance around of uh, what was going on kind of thing. Mm -hmm. mm. I'm going to have to come up with a title of Laughter Falling Down or something. <laughs> sort of silly. Yeah, that works. That works. Hi left of being hypo hypothermic. Uh, uh, quick question. Mm -hmm. uh, with uh, what we've garnered uh, from uh, so far, uh, it would be safe safe assumption to make that uh, whatever we are doing, it's making the source of this uh, strange melody angry and is most likely effective for us. Uh, yeah, you have no idea. Thing. I was coming to. All right. That's so that numbers. is going to be uh, 5,281 experience points for everyone. 5,281. And let's see. Braxton and Ocker. You'll get an extra, let's see, Braxton, you'll get an extra 240. 240. And Ocker, you will get an extra. This is a silly question. Does Ocker get anything for saving Lever? Because it's kind of like a hero putting yourself in yeah, danger. Yeah, I'm going to, I'll, I'll give him some. I need to, I'm, I'm calculating out individual XP right now. I figure that would be part of his ethos. He, he laid yeah. on his hand and lifted it up. Yeah, but as a paladin, it's kind of... I know. Paladin of Justice, Okara should get uh, 10 XP for uh, trying to avenge Laftel. <laughs> oh, no. uh, Okara, that'll be 690 additional XP. Oh, oh damn. Uh, Laftel, uh, 500 XP uh, for your priest. Oh. And... Chaos. Uh, let's see, 150 for Solus for your mage, mm -hmm. and uh, Finn, uh, 150 for you. It's always a fun number to add up. <laughs> Especially when one class gets the bonus and the other doesn't. I know, I know. Isn't it great? I love it. I don't mind. I mean, it's still an extra XP. Oh, yeah, I don't <laughs> mind. It'd just be nice if I had the entire... The only thing that off. I'm uh, annoyed at are those uh, XPs that uh, don't get split evenly. Yeah, I'm having that issue. Mm, so much fun. All right, so I assume no one is going up a level. Um, not quite. Not quite. Yeah. All right, so when we come back next time, uh, the party will be moving on to a third dream. And we'll see that what... That isn't cold. That, no, it is not. It is. Uh, it feels Refreshing. like a uh, spring or summer day. Uh, not too hot, not too cold. Um, it would be a lovely, lovely day in the woods uh, if not for uh, some giant fleshy creatures uh, murdering elves. So... You know. They're not like witch like marauders or anything, are they? So we will be back next time. We'll have to find out next time. Oh, <laughs> we've seen them before. Yeah, but oh, I've given hey. you I've given you the information that uh, that you're gonna have right now. <laughs> so uh, I, not next week. I'm sorry. Um, on June Dude, 10th. Three time. weeks from now. Yeah, three weeks from now. Uh, next time. It's, it's, it's yeah, gonna next be next time. week for people on YouTube in the future. I, well, if it would they be the watch next, the... very next video. 
It could be, yeah, yeah. I'm wrong. <laughs> so I want to thank everyone out there for watching. I want to thank you guys for playing. Really do appreciate it. And uh, we will be back next time uh, for <laughs> more Adventures in Arcane Space. <clears throat> Thanks for the game. Thanks for watching, everyone. Yeah, thanks, thanks for the game. Us. Take care, everyone. Later. Thanks for the game. Yeah.